Hey everyone, Slambo here. Had an idea this week, since the uh, contests are seem to be uh, winding down, I came up with the idea of showing five records that I have not shown before. I don't think I've shown any of these five before on any of my videos. If I have, sorry. Uh, it's kind of hard to keep track of every record that I've shown, uh, but these are five that I'm pretty sure that I have not shown yet. Uh, going in my filing order, in alphabetical order, so first one is Whoopi Goldberg, the original Broadway show recording. This is her doing a couple of her tracks. Uh, side one is all the uh, all the character Fontaine, and side two we've got three more characters: Surfer Chick, Crippled Lady, and Little Girl. Uh, produced by Mike Nichols, yes, Mike Nichols of Nichols and May fame. Uh, let's see, associate producer Barry Josephson, and does it say where it was recorded? Uh, it's on Geffen Records, released in 1985. Um, I'm assuming, since it says Broadway show recording, that it was Broadway in New York, but it doesn't say what theater it was here on the back. Uh, there's a whole bunch of testimonials here, but again, it doesn't say what theater it is. Uh, and there she is standing on the back doing one of her characters as well. So Whoopi Goldberg, original Broadway show recording, uh, before she had the talk shows. So the next one I want to show is a freebie that was given away at uh, Rambler Automotive Dealers. And that's Danny Kay. This is a name that I've heard a bunch in the VC lately, but it's not this Danny Kay that people are referring to. This is the one, this is a Danny Kay who was the actor and the comedian from the mid 20th century, from the 40s through the uh, late 60s, and he was still doing television appearances into the uh, early to mid 80s. This one is Danny Kay with the Klinger Sisters and the Earl Brown Singers and Paul Weston and his orchestra. These are all straightforward songs. There's almost no funny things at all on here. Uh, we've got the Great, great Come and Get It Day, C'est Si Bon, Oh Baby Mine, Choo Choo Bella, Down by the Riverside, South Rampart Street Parade, Ball in the Jack, I've got a lo lovely bunch of coconuts, and that's the one that is the closest to a funny song on this record, even there, that's not, not a very funny song. Uh, the Story of Alice and Turn Around, uh, and at the bottom here it says, Watch the Danny Kay Show on the CBS Television Network Wednesday, 10, 8, or 10 to 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, brought to you on alternate weeks by Rambler produced by Dina Pictures Incorporated. So that's brought to you by Rambler. So Rambler was one of the sponsors of the show, and that's why they had the record available at their dealerships. When you test drove a car, you got a free record, uh, even though there weren't any record players in the cars. So the next one I want to show, uh, I know I've shown Alan Sherman in the past. Uh, I've shown a couple of his other records, and one of his records I actually have four copies of, so I don't need another one of that one. But this is one that I don't see very often in the shops when I go out, and that's Alan Sherman with the Boston Pops and Arthur Fiedler doing Peter and the Commissar. Uh, it's a parody of, of course, Peter and the Wolf. Uh, and on the back, we've got a long description of each of the tracks here and a couple of photos from the performance. So there's uh, Peter and the Commissar, variations on How Dry I Am, with solo hiccups by Mr. Arthur Fiedler. Uh, so he's not just conducting, he's actually performing as a, a hiccup artist uh, and piano solo by Alan Sherman. Uh, and then the, it closes with The End of a Symphony. And that one is one that I've heard before and it's nice to have that on a record as well. Uh, it says, in this selection I have done some of my greatest composing, including Schubert's Semf Seventh Symphony, Mozart's Overture to the Marriage of Figaro, and Beethoven's Fifth Symphony, my greatest work to date. I composed this because it occurred to me that all these great classical composers were real good at thinking up melodies and fancy rhythms in the early parts of the symphony, but when it came, or when the end came, they all broke down. And that's Alan Sherman and the Boston Pops showing what the end of a symphony sounds like. Now, growing up in Los Angeles, one of the TV channels there uh, had on Saturday afternoons, after all the cartoons were done, in the afternoon they would show uh, Three Stooges. And this is so far the only Three Stooges record that I have. This is the Three Stooges Christmas time with the Three Stooges. It's a Rhino reissue. Uh, let's see, RNEP 606, a six song budget priced mini album. 
Uh, and on here we've got, I want a hippopotamus for Christmas, jingle bells drag, all I want for Christmas is my two front teeth, wreck the halls with boughs of holly, uh, I got a cold for Christmas, and down through the house, down through the housetop, yeah. Uh, a couple of photos of the, uh, the Stooges there on the back with Curly Joe. And there's the front again. One of the one of the very few color photos that I've seen of the Stooges. You know, they lasted into the 60s uh, doing uh, some of their work. So I shouldn't be surprised that there were color photos because the first commercial or the first publicly accessible color roll film was in 1939. Uh, Kodak released that in, just in time for the World's Fair in New York. And this was released in 1983 on Rhino Records. The last one that I want to show is one of the few soundtracks in our collection. And this is one that uh, connects back to, the, uh, to my entry for the I Love the 80s contest. It's a soundtrack to Who Framed Roger Rabbit. I showed the, uh, the box that, with the DVD in it, but I didn't show the soundtrack record. And here it is. So this one we've got uh, Maroon Logo, Maroon Cartoon, Valiant and Valiant, The Weasels, Hungarian Rhapsody, which is the, uh, the song that uh, Daffy and Donald are both playing on dueling pianos, uh, Judge Doom, Why Don't You Do Right, No Justice for Tunes, and The Merry Go Round Broke Down, which is uh, one of the songs that uh, an instrumental version was featured as a theme song for Looney Tunes. Uh, Jessica's theme, Toontown, Eddie's theme, The Gag Factory, The Will, Smile, Darn You Smile, that's all folks, and the end title. So primarily symphonic uh, soundtrack. Uh, not a whole lot of uh, songs with lyrics in here, but there are a couple. Uh, and of course it was a fun movie to watch. And, now, and since we have the DVD, we can watch it almost any time that we want. So there's five records that I'm pretty sure that I haven't shown before on any of my videos. So my challenge to you watching this is to pick out five records out of your collection that you haven't shown and show and talk about them. Let's see what you haven't shown yet. So that's what I've got today. See you next time.